was an avid reader in those days, and I discovered the new glasses I just got hurt my eyes to read. They put me through standard checks and they say, pressures are up, do you have glaucoma in your family? And that's how it was discovered. Peter had his glaucoma diagnosed at really a very young age. In most people, glaucoma starts evolving after the age of 40, 50. The average age for diagnosis is late 60s or early 70s. My life revolves around eye drops. The drops specifically will take the eye pressures down. From the age 31 till now, 57, we've successfully kept my eyesight 100%. Most people, when they're first diagnosed, have what we would refer to as early glaucoma with quite mild loss of vision. Occasionally people are diagnosed with what we might refer to as advanced glaucoma, where the central part of the vision for reading and recognising faces remains. Patients will only really recognise that there's a problem if they cover one eye and look for defects in the field of vision, like blurring, mistiness and missing Vision. It's usually very slowly progressive. It's also painless. It's called the thief of sight is probably the best way I could put it. I'm chairman of the local cricket club. I'm a steward at Wimbledon. I have a flying licence as well. Now, all of these things wouldn't be for me if I hadn't taken the problem on. My dad was a bomber pilot in the Second War. I lost my father at the beginning of last year. And I wanted to do something that could take me closer to him while he was still alive. There aren't many pilots in the world with glaucoma. I tell most patients, provided they have been diagnosed at an early stage, that it is unusual to lose vision that will disrupt their everyday life. For the most part, they carry on a normal life. International Glaucoma Association is a charity set up specifically to help people in different problems that are associated with having glaucoma. Their efforts and hard work has improved enormously the standard of medication that I and everybody else take. Regular eye examinations are of crucial importance because most patients have no idea that they have glaucoma until they go for a routine examination by their optician. So we usually recommend people to go for an eye test at least every couple of years. As you get older, more frequent tests are more important. And because glaucoma tends to run in families, if you have a family history for glaucoma, then yearly examinations are recommended. And the examinations are free when you have a family history for glaucoma.